Hi everyone and welcome to this our video on like terms, part of our algebra uh, system series of videos. That's what I'm trying to say for our year seven. Uh, now if you're not in year seven, don't worry about it. These videos are all great. I am Maths Guru and it is really good to see you. Now, as you remembered, maths is a big fat trick and we are here trying to demystify all those crazy tricks. Maths teachers are here trying to make your life harder and I'm doing what I can to make life easier. The thing about algebra is it's really important for the rest of the course for year seven, eight, nine, ten, and onwards. If you get this stuff cracked, awesome. It takes a little bit of practice and for us to see past all those tips and tricks. Now, if you haven't already done so, guys, do me a favor. Can you click the little doohickey in the corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you are watching on MathsGuru.com, it is awesome to see you. Welcome, hello, and thank you. Uh, if you don't know what mathsguru.com is, M-A-F-F-S guru.com, head over there, it's free and it allows you to search for the videos and actually follow things in a little bit more logical order than YouTube will allow you. But that does not mean that YouTube isn't great. All right, what's this video about? As you can see, the title is Like Terms. And by the end of the lesson, I would hope that you have an understanding of the concepts which are shown. Know what it means to be a like term, how to identify like terms, and to know that the order of the pronumerals when multiplied together actually doesn't matter. That's actually quite important. When we order pronumerals, that the order actually doesn't matter because it's a trick, right? One times two times three is the same as three times two times one. You know this. And three times two times one is the same as one times three times two, and so it goes on. So ABC, and now I want to sing, is the same as CBA. Yay! Fabulous! Now, as I say, we're powering through this algebra stuff, trying to get, if you haven't already watched the previous videos, I really do recommend you watching them. And that's good, you can hit previous video uh, or those next videos to be able to give you the un overview of what it is we're trying to do here. You need to know about bod mass and all right, now again, if you don't know what that's all about, mm -hmm, I'm sorry, I'm losing the plot already. But today's video, as I say, is about like terms. And so let's get back to it. I love the dictionary. My mum made me use it all the time. So if I don't know what something is, I look it up. I Google it. I uh, know we didn't have Google there. We had these massive dictionary things. So what does like mean? Having the same characteristics or qualities as similar to. Mm, now in maths, when it says having the same characteristics, we just want that to say exactly the same. All right. So like terms in maths have to be exactly the same. And the best way to teach this is again through example. So what are examples of like terms? It's really important that when we go to Coles, for example, or Big W, or we go to Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever you are in the world, Walmart or, or anywhere, Walgreens, that we know that like terms are basically the same thing. All right, exactly the same thing, as I just said a moment ago. Doesn't mean the same number of, it means the same thing. So apples and apples, bananas, bananas, carrots and carrots, they're the same. Carrots and carrots and carrots. Apples are not the same as bananas though. So they are not like terms. What does that have to do with mathematics? Well, we're using examples here from the Cambridge Essentials textbook series. Thank you so much Cambridge for allowing me to use your resources. Gray, wherever you see the Cambridge brand, you know that you've got quality resources. And that sounded like an advert for Cambridge. Moving on ever so slightly. Now, which of the following pairs are like terms? Now, as I just said a moment ago, when I go into Coles, I buy stuff. I buy apples and bananas. I might not buy a xylophone, but anyway. Why am I talking about xylophones? Well, let's look at this example here. Three xylophones and two xylophones. Are they like terms? Yes, they are. Why? Because they both deal with xylophones. I've got three xylophones, I've got two xylophones. I can group those together. They are like terms. And so I'm going to write here that they are like. Yay! Because I'm dealing with xylophones and xylophones. What about the next one? Three apples and three bananas. Well, I mean, I say apples and bananas, they don't even sound the same, right? And apples are not bananas and bananas are not apples. Doesn't matter that they're both three and three, the number isn't important. It's the pronumeral, it is that letter that is important. So in this situation, they are very much not like. We are not gonna be tricked by this, thank you very much, Cambridge. Now again, I started this video by saying that for this type of thing, the order of the letters when they're all kissy kissed does not make a difference, right? It's not important. So when I look here, and I write this out, I've got two apple bananas. Now I don't know what an apple banana is, but in my head it's...